Hey there, welcome back to another Cezanne video. My name is Monica and I love sharing brands that I love with you. And one of them is Cezanne, clearly. My last video I shared more fall forward prints. I did a blazer and there's a few tops, so you're welcome to take a peek at that video as well. But today, let's talk about some knitwear because I chose a few pieces from their knitwear gallery lookbook. Every year Cezanne shares a lookbook of all of their jumpers and cardigans and it's my favorite thing to look through. <laughs> I even, I always share it with my husband as well and he looks through it and he picked out a piece for me and it ended up being my favorite one. So let's talk about it. This one here is actually not from today's haul but it's something that I purchased maybe a month or two ago. So I will double check to see if it's still available for you. And I will link it in the description as well as everything I talk about in today's video. I'll leave my sizing, the product name, as well as the direct link, just in case I miss something and it's easier for you. So this one, I have a few of the same style of jumper, but in different prints and they bring it back uh, season after season and this one I loved because I love pink Clearly, but it's not floral because I also love floral. So it's a little bit different of a a little bit different of a style so it has pink and then the brown tones which I want to bring more brown tone which I am bringing more brown tones into my wardrobe so I love this one now let me show you so I'm going to talk a little bit about it, but <laughs> here's one of the pieces that I picked up from their knitwear gallery. And as you can tell, it's the same silhouette. So with this silhouette, what I like about it is the high neck collar, but it's not too high like a turtleneck or a roll neck. And I like that fit on me. I also love how it's a little bit more fitted. It's not oversized. It's not... A boxy as well so that's something that I look for in sweaters and I, I like how soft it is now there is itch to this so if you're completely completely sensitive you actually may get away with this I wear under uh, shirts under all of my knitwear so it doesn't bother me too much but there is itch to it and it's really fluffy or you can see <laughs> You can see some of that coming through. So that's going to get on if you're wearing black or you're wearing like, even with my, my navy trousers here, it's, it's going to fall on, <laughs> on your clothing. So just keep that in mind. But that being said, I still, I still, I'm still drawn towards this style of jumper that they carry. So with this one, hello florals, the back of it has this yellow flower here, just a big yellow flower. And I think actually it looks perfect with these navy pants that I'm wearing today. And you can really pull different colors within this sweater and wear it with so many different things. So I am concerned, I'm thinking about if I should keep this one because I have, I just got this same one recently. I mean, they are different. Um, so I'm still considering that. I love the colors. I love the green and the blues and the purples and the yellows. Um, I can wear this and bring it into to winter as well and really layer it. So loving that. Now the fabric composition, it does have polyamide. It does have wool and kid mohair as well as elastane. So it does have some stretch to it. So just keep that in mind if you're considering one of these. I always go down a size so I'm usually extra small in in this one and I went ahead and took the extra small again so usually recently I'm sizing up um, just because I have different I just had a baby so I mentioned that in every single one of my videos it's hard for me not to tell you about my baby let's talk about the classic Gaspard cardigan and this one is in the navy with the gold stripe. Now, what I wasn't aware of, and I didn't read the description, I just snagged it right away, added to my cart. I didn't realize that this was metallic thread. It's more of a gold metallic thread. I figured it was just a 
simple, more just a simple stripe, navy and beige stripe type of cardigan. And I was not aware of the, the metallic, which is a nice feature. I think it's perfect for the holiday season, but I don't think it's something that is necessarily classic. In, in my in my own wardrobe or something I would wear over and over again. That being said, it's beautiful. I do already own the full on navy, so I don't know if I'll be keeping this one necessarily. But if you're looking for something like a special holiday type cardigan, the guest bars are always a wonderful choice. You can wear them multiple ways. You can wear it here with no buttons showing. Obviously you can wear it this way and you can wear it open. Um, so I have a few guest bars, which I still enjoy and wear all the time. But I will say I haven't bought one recently and these buttons are different than the ones that I own. So my buttons on my guest bars are a full circle pearl-esque mother of pearl button where these are a flat style button and I mentioned it in one of my recent videos that there was another piece that had these buttons and I've never seen them but that's what they do apparently I'm late to the conversation with the new style buttons with the Gaspards which these are nice they're still nice it has that pearl-esque um, finish to them but they're not the circle ones that I'm used to. One thing to keep in mind with this style, because it has the metallic threading, you're gonna feel some friction there if, when you when you wear it. So definitely wear something underneath. Um, like I said, I always wear, and even, even with these, I'll wear a long sleeve undershirt, and I'll link those as well if you're curious in, in those pieces. One thing I love about the Gaspard are the straight line sleeves. Um, just something that's classic and timeless, a really great piece to throw over the shoulder if you love that type of style. Uh, a sweater over the shoulder seems to be the look over the past few years, so if you like that, I think this would be the perfect option to do that. And for the lilac, the lilac number. I love this color. I have two other Cezanne pieces in this lilac one's actually a little bit darker but what I love about this more than just the color is the undertone of this color so you can see that here there's some slight blues and there's deeper purples there's some white so there's really some dimension to this color and I'm drawn to it so much I actually love this silhouette it has the the buttons just here at the front chest line and these buttons they're just simple, simple, same color buttons here that I actually like to undo a few of them, but you can wear it all the way up for the high neck look. Now, when I tried this on, oh, let me show you the sleeves. This one has a much tighter fit cuff sleeve, which I love. When um, someone like me who's a little bit more petite when you're wearing sweaters, it's nice to feel good and loose and comfy and cozy sweater weather, but when you have something that's cinched in here, it gives a little bit more shape to your style, a little bit shape to what you're wearing. And I like that. I always look for the really fitted um, cuff sleeves. And then at the bottom, the hemline has this detail here as well. Now, what I was going to mention is this one's also itchy. I feel like it's itchier than any of the other ones. Um, let me double check this composition here because the only thing that... Well, of course, if you're sensitive, it's good to know if it's going to have that itch factor. But if you're someone like me who's not too bothered by it, but let me see here. Polyamide. Yeah, so it's similar composition. There may be more percentage of kid mohair or wool in here where it's where I'm feeling it's a bit more itchy. But the only reason why I'm a little bit concerned is my daughter, my, uh, my baby Harper, she has sensitive skin. So, you know, of course right now I'm holding her and carrying her around. I can just see that this is, is gonna may irritate her. I, I'm not sure, but it's just something I think about now it, that when I'm holding her, I'm not sure if this is gonna be itchy for her. It's fine for me, but now that I have somebody else to hold, <laughs> I'm not sure. So that's something I have to think about. I absolutely love it. So if that's not a concern to you, if the itch factor is not a concern to you, 
I would definitely recommend this. I love the silhouette. I love these simple buttons and like I mentioned, I love this color. So just something I'm thinking about, putting it out there. <laughs> and lastly, this was my husband's pick. Shocker, right? Everything I choose is color <laughs> or prints and he loves the simple neutrals and I kind of love them for it because this one is my favorite piece throughout the entire collection. There is also a blue shade of this, but I went ahead and grabbed the Accru. Um, I love this Accru color, the off-white the off -white shade. This is such a unique yet simple sweater altogether. So what I love about it is the crochet detail, of course, the crochet detail on just the shoulder part. They could have done the whole thing down, but I, I like that detail. I like that attention to the design with just having the crochet here at the halfway point of the arm to the shoulder. This is a slight puff to the sleeve, nothing too broad, but just a nice little puff to the shoulder, I should say, to the shoulder. And then this classic kind of cable knit um, style for the rest of the sleeve. Here's the scallop detail, the scallop edging, and the buttons, the covered buttons. Not just any covered buttons, but the fabric colored button, that detail there, which these are working buttons. So if you wanted to wear it more like a cardigan, you can try it. I personally, I think this style is more supposed to be just done up, but yeah, just just so you know that these are working buttons. I did go up a size in this one and I think it fits well. I don't see any gaping in the chest area. On the website, it seems really low cut, but I actually find it just very comfortably wearable. Um, so it wasn't too low cut. Um, here's the back, just really simple to the design. I can wear it for spring to fall to winter and really mix and match actually i did feature it in my last video i was wearing a skirt and i wore it with this this little jumper oh let me tell you the composition this is wool polyamide and cotton so no itch factor here with this one really comfortable nice and warm but not overly warm <laughs> um, if that makes sense it's it's a really nice piece and these are all my Cezanne picks for their recent knitwear gallery. I'm sure I'll probably add more to my collection or my obsession, I should say. But let me know which ones that you are looking at, if you have any favorites, if you picked anything up. Again, I'm still considering which ones I'm going to be adding to my closet, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on these. And yes, thank you for another fun Cezanne video. My favorite thing to do as of recent is to film these style uh, videos with you. And if you'd like to see anything else, let me know your suggestions in the comments. Like I mentioned, I did an Everlane video recently and I am going to film my birdies shoes. So my favorite birdie shoe brand, they're flats. Uh, I'm, gonna sh I'm gonna film that one next as well. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.